my macadamias what's going on what's going on what's going on i hope you guys are having a fantastic day i hope you guys are having a fantastic day i just wanted to come on here guys i just wanted to make this video i wanted to show you who i am and i wanted you to get to know me for those of you that don't know me, I am Denise Mackey. I am your, I am here. I am your friend. I am your neighbor. I am your sister, your cousin. I am your, your auntie. I am whatever you, whatever we are, that's what we are, okay? You are my macadamians, okay? That's what I call you guys. But anyway, listen. I am currently on my way to drop my RV off. I know this is not an RV. This is my truck that we are in. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, guys. Let me readjust my phone. Anyway, I hope you don't fall again. I'm trying to adjust you. I got to get one of those camera holders, okay? Anyway, we're about to drop our RV off. Um, we are going to, the hubby and I are going to spend the weekend together camping. We are going to leave the Grands home with my son. He's going to watch them for my daughter. Um, hold tight guys, I apologize. So I'm waiting, as soon as I get to a red light, I will adjust my camera. Okay. Going over all these bumps. Can't stand these bumps. But anyway, listen. I know some of you might say, stop fooling with that phone while you're driving. We're on a back road, so there's no really no traffic. Okay. Getting on the main road now, but I was just on the back road, so it was really no traffic. I can drive all over the road. Nothing will happen. Anyway, so it should be, hopefully it should be smooth. The roads should be smoother now. No bumping and dumping and all that stuff. But yeah, we're about to spend a weekend together in, um, in my RV. We're about to go camping. We are the, we are RVers, um, campers. Um, once upon a time when campers used to sleep on the ground and in the tents, that wouldn't have been me, okay? But even now, the way they got the tents, um, you hit a button and they um, inflate and it um, opens all up and there's so much stuff you can do now with the tents. I wouldn't mind sleeping, you know, outside of an RV if i have that but if i don't have that oh no i have to be in an rv and the type of rv we have is a class a it's like a bus where everything is contained inside and you drive there's no detachment um we used to have a pop-up which was like a little box that you crank up and it would open up like a puzzle and beds would come out um like side beds that had like a tent covering we called that a pop-up because it would be contained inside of a box then we we had that for like two or three years and then we graduated to a travel trailer a travel trailer is still an rv but you attach it and pull it with your vehicle so this for those that don't know anything about rvs um so we have a class A now, which is like a bus. Um, and right now, I'm um, following my husband while he's driving it. And we go to a local campground that's not that far. It's like 30 to 45 minutes away from us. So um, we're going to drop the RV off and then go back home because we have to pick the grands up from school when they get once they get out of school and then we can leave and um, 
we'll take the dogs with us. We're going to leave my cat with my son. But when we go on, go away, when everyone goes, we take all the animals, including the cats, especially when we do long distance, um, which we do once a year. Um, we go to Myrtle Beach. But anyway, guys, I just want to, didn't want to go into all of that, but just sharing a little bit, some little bit um, here and there. But guys, I just want to talk to you about my channel. Um, I am new. I'm not new to YouTube. Like, I don't know what YouTube is. But many times I have tried to start my channel and gave up and just like, uh, I can't do this. But I just think everything has an appointed time. Like, last night I was reading, listening to the book of Ecclesiastics, and it talks about... There's a time to laugh, a time to cry, a time to live, a time to die. So, I believe that everything has its appointed time, you know, including your decisions on things you want to do. You know, sometimes it works out and sometimes it don't. And I, it may be because it's not time. And many times I try to start my YouTube and... Um, it wouldn't go anywhere. I couldn't. I couldn't stay motivated. I couldn't. I don't know. I just. I just wasn't feeling it. And it could have been. It just wasn't time. But the funny thing is, I feel like now is the time. At first, uh, my son kept saying, "Come on, mom. You can do this. You can do this. You need to do this." And then I saw. Um this one this new youtuber or influencer um she just started not too long ago her youtube and she's called her her channel is called doe dasher and she is very motivating i love her she's if you don't know who she is look at look it up go check her out because i'm telling you she will motivate you Especially if you are new to YouTube and as well. Just go check her out. And I'm telling you, she will motivate you and help you keep going. Just watching her will help you keep going. And her um, channel again is at Doe Dasher. Doe, D-O-U-G-H Dasher. D-A-S-H-E-R Dasher. And another lady I was looking at, um, I really resonate with because we're about the same age. Um, she's called, um, I think she, I think her channel is called Tommy Bites Life. Tommy Bites Life, I think that's what she called, her channel is called Tommy, T-O-M-M-Y Bites, B-I-T-E-S, Life, L-I-F-E, Tommy Bites Life. But, um, yeah, so I just started my YouTube again. As you will be able to see, I don't have that many um, videos up, but I do have some. And they, when I tell you guys they are not the best, along with this one, it is not the best. Um, sometimes technology, working with technology is like a hit and miss with me sometimes. I got it and sometimes I'm like what in the world am I doing but I refuse to give up because I said you know what at least my viewers will grow with me they will see my growth you will see that okay I may not have it all together I'm sorry guys um, I had a call but I was saying, I feel like, well, I don't remember what I said, but I feel like now is my time. And as you can see, if you look at my previous videos, they're not their best. They're not the best, but I don't care. I'm just going to keep going and I will get better. I will get better the more I keep going um, and this is also to encourage anybody that um, 
might be thinking about doing their own videos as well. You know, or think you're not good enough or think, you know, you're not capable. But you don't know what you're capable of doing until you try it. And even if you're not at your best, it's just like a baby when they start walking. They don't just jump up and start walking and able to do flips and cartwheels and run and dance and jump right off the bat. It takes time. It takes consistency and practice. Consistency and practice. And they perfect their, you know, the ability to walk. And that's with any skill, any craft, any, any type of learning anything new. Anything. And I apologize that I'm not looking at you guys. But I got to keep my eyes on the road, okay? Um, as long as you can hear me, hopefully we don't get any more um, interruptions with calls. But anyway, I also want to say, um, I have so many goals and ambitions and desires and aspirations and sometimes my head becomes so crowded and overwhelmed and and become so you know filled with ideas that it makes me feel stagnated it makes me feel paralyzed like I can't do anything and another thing is when you want to start your own business sometimes business take starting a new business takes capital and sometimes you might feel like well I don't have any means or any ways of creating or developing or achieving the capital to start my own business well it can also start right here on YouTube and I realized that I don't have to necessarily have capital I want my own land I want my own farm animals I want my own garden I want to do a whole lot of stuff and sometimes I feel like I'm not able to because I don't work um, my husband is the only one that works and any little change I get um, always doing something that needs to be done or trying to help someone out but you know what even that can become an excuse because when you really want to do something my mother always say when you want to change or you want things to change you will do something about it and guess what guys I made up my mind that I'm going to do something about the things I want to achieve. And it starts right here. Right here at YouTube. On YouTube. And that's why I don't, I'm not worried about um, whether things are good or bad or um, correct or, or wrong. I'm not worrying about it. Because it's going to get better with time. And sometimes I find myself feeling overwhelmed because I want things to happen right now. Right now. I want it to happen. I don't want to wait. I don't want to. And guess what? I don't have a choice. What you going to do? What you going to do? You don't have a choice but to wait. So I remember when I was young and I had my daughter. I had my daughter young. I was 14 when I had my first daughter. And I was, I remember crying when I came home from the hospital. My mother, she leaned in to me. She was holding my daughter and she gave her back to me. And she leaned into me and she said, you know what? You're going to have to have patience so you might as well get it and I was like what that don't even make sense what are you saying I didn't say that to her because I wasn't trying to get my lips slapped off but <laughs> no you don't you don't get smart with mama okay 
but <laughs> to myself I was thinking what, what is she saying you might as well you're going to need patience so you might as well get it it means for those of you that still don't know what it means you don't have a choice in the matter so accept your situation accept your circumstances until your change can come accept your circumstances because the more you fight against it the harder it is but when you accept it for what it is until you can bring the change until the change happens take place the easier it is the sooner the change will come because as long as you keep fighting against it the harder it is the more challenging it is. So anyway guys. I hope this video resonated with someone. I hope that I didn't bore any bore, bore anyone. And I hope that um, it actually inspired someone. Um, and I apologize that I'm driving. I said we're like the campground is 30 to 45 minutes away. Um, we're almost there, but um, doing doing this weekend maybe, and it's raining, so we won't be out doing anything. Um, but maybe I'll make another video showing you the. I'm sure you've seen a campground before. I might have showed it before in my past videos, and if not, I'll show. Maybe I'll make another video showing it if it's not raining and we take a walk. Or maybe I'll make a video when we um, take the dogs to the dog park. But I hope this motivated someone. And I hope that you realize that, you know what? If you want to change, you got to start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. So, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. And even if you're afraid, do it afraid. Do it anyway. Your voice might be shaking. You might be shaking. Just do it. And um, if you're brand new to your channel, you just starting and you're nervous, tag me. I'll come support your channel. I will come support your channel. And I will um, subscribe to your channel, and we'll support each other. You su you su subscribe, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm getting tongue tied. It. Um, you subscribe to my channel, and I'll subscribe to your channel. And every time you go live, I will be on there. And if I'm not on there because I'm in the middle of something. Then I will watch the replay and I will leave a comment. I will leave a comment. And um, I will lift you up, your channel up, okay? And we'll just keep doing that. And I'll do that with everyone that starts their channel. As long as your content is positive and good stuff, I'm saying it's because you got some people out there that want to start all kinds of stuff that is not okay. Not okay to me. So if it's positive, uplifting, motivational, or, I mean, you know, the good stuff. And, you know, you don't have to be a rocket science know what I'm saying. No nasty stuff, no nudity, nude, nude, nudity, nudity. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. No nu nudity. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know what's going on with my tongue this morning. But none of that. No profanity. No um. No negative stuff. Okay. No negative stuff. Because I'm a Christian and I have Christian values. So I'm just saying. But 
you don't have to be a Christian. I'm not saying that. But as long as your content is good vibes and, you know, positive stuff. Okay, decent stuff. That's all I'm saying. Alright, I got your back. I got your back. So anyway, I'm going to conclude my video right here because soon we almost there and he's going to need me to help him um, back into our um, site I mean he's good at parking I think he really don't need no help but I like to make sure he doesn't hit any branches or make sure you know nothing's brushing up against the, um, the RV where he's backing in and stuff Make sure he lines up with the um, the water and the holes and all that stuff. But guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. Um, please leave a positive comment. It helps the algorithm and if you can relate to what I'm saying um, I'm just saying and, and let me let me throw this in there this is a PS if you don't like Wonderful rest of your day. Alright?